Jim Crow Laws Laws implemented in the 1870s in Southern America by white Democrats. Previous slaveholders who controlled local and statewide government in the Southern United States. Laws that segregated and disenfranchised black Americans. In order to truly understand what separate but equal means by the definition given in the Plessy versus Ferguson case argued within 1896, we need to understand what it truly means to be equal in a society that wants equality. Now, if you look at what the South has been all these years and what it's been leading up to, can you truly expect the South to all of a sudden allow slavery to be part of their culture and allow these black people to get back into society and be good people, become citizens, have the right to vote, do whatever they want, have right education. Well, of course not. Understand that we need to do something. We cannot allow the South to just somehow get this case across and believe that people will truly be separate and equal. How could the United States justify a system where three million of its citizens were required to be separated from the rest of the population? How could one justify different bathrooms, different water fountains, different parks, different anything? How is this a free system in the United States. This is where I come and I ask, what will you do? As a collective society, we need to understand that black rights don't come easy. Rights don't come easy. As Americans, we know firsthand, as we have fought way beforehand, and we understand that Freedom comes with a price, but the reward of freedom is greater than anything else. And in order to obtain that, we need to understand each other, band together, and create a solution for these poor people. Thank you.